So we hit uh, Photo Kina here, and uh, who are you? Hi, my name is Jörn, I'm from Rico, and um, i like to show you today the new GR3. And we are really proud to show it here on the Photo Kina for the very first time. GR3 is the first camera in the GR line, which starts in 19... 96. This is all the, the, the this is GRs? All, this is all the GRs. So, so you had GR1 in 1996. GR1, GR1S, then the famous GR10, GR21. And you know, we started then from 2005 with the first GR Digital. And, was the first one. and uh, all these were branded Rico? All these are Ricos, yeah. Original Rico cameras. So it's one of the Rico important products? It's one of the key products from Rico itself. It's a so-called street shot camera. So now they're very famous for doing photos in street life. And um, so we are very proud to showcase the first time the GR3. And the good thing about this new version is it has a built-in image stabilization system. And um, we gave the camera now 24 megapixel. And uh, with this, we have a higher solution, we have a faster autofocusing system, so everything is just in order to make the camera more fast, more proper for low light condition and all this kind of stuff. So what kind of sensor does it have? It's an APS-C sensor. APS-C, this size? APS-C is the size, it doesn't have any, um, any anti-alliance filter built in, so from that also very, very nice, very good in terms of sharpness and um, because of the image stabilization we also can work against anti-aliancing systems so yeah uh, i see that it has a, a slot on the top but you're not doing the microphone jack no do you, you have video what? well the camera has video and it does uh, full hd videos with uh, 60 frames per second it doesn't have a microphone jack yet so in that case so it's a photo camera Merge it later. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, is it all always APS-C or always APS-C from GR at May 2013? Before that, we had a smaller sensor size. It was one to 1.4. But after that, we developed for the camera the APS-C sensor. And uh, so APS-C is not too small. No, it's APS bigger than uh, Micro Four Thirds. It's bigger than Micro Four Thirds, so you can work with depth of field, for example. You have a very strong um, lens nice built-in. Yeah, you have a nice bouquet. Um, it's awesome for low light condition, and because now of the three-axis stabilization system, you also can work proper in low light condition without any any distress things. So, uh, the, uh, do you have the GR2 here? Yeah, this is GR2. This is the current camera. Can you show it a bit how it works? Yeah. So, so and it's order, very compact. It's very compact. We call it point and shoot. Point and shoot camera in order to operate. Is it the best point and shoot on the market, or? It's one of the best, of course. Right. So, from that point on, it's one of the best cameras. And um, oh, this one is so good; it has already lost the act of the battery. This one goes on. Okay. Now, in order to operate the camera system, you just have the auto mode of course every camera has that today but then you can go to the wheel up here you can select aperture shutter priority and you have the ability to work with TAV which means um, time and aperture value that you can adjust then by this dialing function here and here you have then the shutter speed so it's a really comfortable working camera with does a display uh, pop out no, it's uh, fixed, but you have a, a view field of 180 horizontal and vertical. So that means you can hold it up and you can look like this. It's still sharp or to the side. It still keeps sharp and you can see everything nice and clean. Also, especially about this display is that it's so bright that you actually can see everything even in direct sunlight, which is also nice about the camera system. So everything done for convenient photos, photographing. Nice. How do you change the, the shutter speed? Because well, there's a flickering going on because pretty, of the lights. Pretty simple. It's like this. Dial here for the aperture and here backside for the shutter speed. And you nice. can do it with one hand. On this side. Nice. Uh, what's the lens? 28 millimeters. And Equivalent uh, KB. And with the F? F2.8. Alright. 
So how much will it be? How much it costs a GR2 and how much will it be GR3? Well, GR2 is in a moment round about 599 and there are no news about GR3 what they will uh, what, what it will cost. So we have to wait until it airs. And the Rico is a Pentax? Um, Rico is Pentax, Pentax is Rico. Um, Rico is actually head of Pentax. So Pentax is part of the Rico company. And all the big cameras, the DSLR yeah. cameras, call Rico. So uh, call which Pentax. Is, uh, which one is the latest and the best? Pentax. The latest and the best. That's always difficult to say because it depends by what you want to do. What is this one? This one is medium Aber das heißt, format. Man könnte dann quasi medium format ist ein Objektiv kaufen, das wird noch an die alte Kamera ranpassen. Ja, ich glaube, ich glaube, ich glaube, ich So it's a very big sensor. It's a very big sensor. It has a size of uh, 4.8 yeah. to 32.8. And a single card? And two card slots. Two card. Two card. So you can back up to You can minute. back up, of course. What's how much it costs this camera? Oh, this one is for around about 7,000 with the lens. So this is all together like that. Are there many different lenses? Or? Yeah, we have around about 20 lenses for this system on the market. And um, yeah, we have two, two jacks here. Two jacks here. We have a monitor like this. When does this one come on the market? This one is already on the market. Since when? Since 2014. 14, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is it uh, um, one of the leading medium format cameras out there? It's There's one of the yeah. It's, it's 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 of course one of the leading medium format cameras there. Um, you, you know there are a lot of medium format cameras out there, but you know we have some cameras. They are um, very robust actually. They are very good in terms of quality with a, a 50 51 megapixel on solution, and so that's a very good thing actually. And uh, what is the sensor size here? This one is. Um, this one is full frame. So we have a full frame. With um, 30, 36 megapixel. It has a um, 5 axis image stabilization built in. And the special thing about this camera is that you have this display on the back side. You can rotate it and Ooh. flip it up. Like what is that this. rotation? It turns that way? It turns that way, that way, that nice. way. That but not way. all the way to the side. Not all the way to the side. But again, like That's with the amazing GR, um, it always keeps the center of your picture in the center in itself, which That's, is also quite really nice. That's really cool. Whoa. Right? And what you can do now is you can adjust in any direction and you can showcase everything when does that you want. this one come in the market? This one is already in the market. It's actually the one. second version of it, of the K1. This is the K1 Mark II. And we started with this in, uh, in spring this year. And yeah, we are very proud dual, of this camera. Dual card? Dual card, of course, again. Some companies don't do dual cards, I don't know why. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And full frame, since when do you do full frame? Um, we do full frame since 2016. So we have them on the market. Second generation? Second generation of full frame camera, yeah, exactly. And how many lenses fit? Um, we have a couple of lenses fitting for this system because we have a lot of old lenses that also are suitable for this camera system. Because one goal for Rico was to create a full-frame camera that is able to host, uh, to, yeah, to host all the um, full-frame lens from the past. So this one is able to do that in a really proper quality. So we are talking. But before it was DSLR, right? Or no? Before it was a mirror with a mirror. It was always with mirror. Yeah. Yeah. So we there's don't... a there's a distance. Yeah. But it fits. It fits. It Directly. fits all of that. And not only the Pentax one, also the uh, third party uh, lenses fit to that. So all is, is fitting to this system. All right. And uh, this really is. nice about this camera is now it's the same camera. 1.4. Exactly. Very bright. Very bright, very strong, very sharp. It's uh, the most sharp lens in the moment in our lineup. And the 50 millimeter is one of the best lens we have in the moment. It's very fast in terms of autofocusing, has a very nice bouquet, so it's a very good, very good lens. And you have a, a smaller ones too, is it APS-C or? This is APS-C, it's the KP. KP has a 5-axis stabilization system again, 
So here we have, so to say, the smaller version of the K1 with APS-C sensor and 24 megapixel. We have a big display on the rear again. You can pop it up and down like this for 45 or 90 degree. That's also possible. You have a built-in flash that can pop up. So everything nice about that. And you have several um, grips included in the box. So you can choose if you want to have the big one, the smaller one, cool. or the smallest one. It just depends nice. by how you want to do your photos. It depends how big your hands are, maybe. You can maybe choose. how big your hands are, or yeah. if you just prefer to work with a smaller uh, lens, like a fixed lens that we also offer. Um, you just can combine and can adjust it to your needs. Uh, so these two, do they do nice video? They both do video in full HD. Um, they both have a microphone jack, and so you can adjust a microphone to them. Full HD 60p? Yeah, full HD 30p. 30p? Because we are doing cameras and uh, not video cameras in the first. So no 4K for now? No 4K for now, just full HD for them. But you do have a 4K over here uh, with this. Uh, this. This is a 4K, right? This is a 4K, yeah. 4K 360. <laughs> this is a full K, uh, 4K full, uh, full frame. This is a 4K uh, 360 camera still Theta. And uh, this one is still Theta V. The specifics about the Theta V are you have um, a built-in um, Android system. So you can use plugins for the camera that we launched um, this year. Um, run about two months ago. I mean, built in Android. Hmm? It runs with an Android phone or is it running Android? It's running Android. It runs Android. It runs Android. And that for we have the ability to launch and to in uh, to embed in this system uh, own, our own plugins. So you can uh, go to our plugin store and that for then you can connect the camera and you can download and upload your plugins to the camera system itself in order to operate the camera in the way you like to do it. So it has a uh, um, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and it you has, can do live streaming? It has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you can do live streaming, you can, um, you can connect many cameras in a network in order to see what's going on on your construction place or if you want to uh, do live stream from an exhibition, you can live stream directly to YouTube 360. Um, What's it connected to down here? Microphone here. It's, it's a, a mic. It's a microphone for the theater. It's a 360 degree mic. 360 degree microphone. So that's also something nice we have. Wow. So that expands the quality significantly. Exactly. In terms and it just connects under. It just connects under, which is good because if it would be up here, that would be. Uh, you know, it would be take a lot of things that you can usually see. Nice. So actually, uh, this is kind of one of the leaders in uh, 360 cameras. Is this mo model right? This design. Yep, yep it is. Um, maybe market leaders in terms of quantity, even. Well, it's it's one of the of the most successful cameras in 360 um, because you know the housing is very thin. It's very accurate in terms of stitching. It's very fast in stitching. Has a very fast data transfer and awesome picture quality and also a very nice video quality. But it really runs Android in there. How do you see the UI? Um, exactly what you mean. So you say it is running Android, so maybe it's a special kind of a headless Android or something like that uh, to be able to run these plugins and stuff. Or yeah, I mean yeah. You, you just usually Android is uh, apps, right? Yeah, usually Android is app. And specifically, you, you go to this plugin store, and um, then you have several plugins. In the moment, there are seven plugins available there, and you just go and put them in your theater, and then you can uh, operate the theater in the way you like to work with your theater. What kind of uh, plugins, for example? Well, we have, for example, Face Blur out, so you can mm. shoot 360 photos. And the um, and camera does it automatically to blur out faces. Um, we have the live streaming plug-in so that you can live stream without cable um, with the camera to your smartphone. We have the um, Holo Builder, which is a third-party um, plug-in. So you can uh, put several theaters in your construction facility and people can see how your construction is going on or your architect and want to see how is it going on there, what is the progress. You just can see it in real time. So it's live streaming abilities. Live streaming with many cameras. That's cool. Like in theory, you can turn 
generate the 3D, real-time 3D uh, yeah. image. That'd be yeah, yeah, yeah. That. In theory, it could. And the good thing about this plugin store, it's uh, it's free access, so you can do your own plugins if you if you need some something for your for your for your business in order to to make your business more successful because that's always what we try we try to help people to make their business and their their things more successful that's why we are here that's why we talk to people and that's why we listen to people and many people came and said okay do something that we can create our own content on this camera in order to operate it so a successful uh, um, photo kina for you yeah, actually it is Very in my busy. eyes in my eyes, it's a very good for Tokina. We have many, many customers who come who ask about, you know, new cameras like the GR3, who ask about um, current cameras like um, K1, and uh, who are interested in it. And of course, you are curious about uh, Theta and uh, Theta 360. We have many, many visitors because we have a lot of people um, doing presentation here. For example, we have had Ben Clermont here on the booth who did a um, theater life walk. So that was also something amazing, actually, to have him here and to, to do, you know, to show him what we are doing and to see what he is doing.